Why, hello everyone! Welcome to Playframe. This is Neversong. Uh, if you've been watching this channel for a good long while, you might recall a game we featured a year or two ago called Pinstripe. That was a game created by Thomas Brush, and it turns out this is as well. Uh, Thomas sent us a code for Pinstripe back in the day, and has now also sent us a code for Neversong. Actually, he sent it a while ago. Sorry, Thomas, about that, but um, I'm kind of glad we waited because this game has some very strong spooky vibes which are just kind of perfect for the season so allow me to show you this game in case it is one that you would be interested in checking out yourself here we go for live never song is a moving story of loss and hope it contains themes including traumatic death that some may find emotionally upsetting to those who suffer know that you are not alone please ask for help Once upon a time, there was a boy, an orphan without a single toy. His name was Pete. His world was gray, until he found a friend one day. It was no normal friend he'd found. She was but the prettiest girl in town. From that day on, the summer bore adventures every single morn. Her name was Wren, so young and gay. She even had a small piano she'd play. From sharps and flats to middle C, she taught Pete to play and read. But on one fateful evening they, when looking for some place to play, Pete and Wren stumbled through a door onto an abandoned asylum floor. And from the shadows, a face of white snatched poor Wren out of sight. Pete was not like Wren at all. He was timid, scared, and small. And this was his last farewell, for Pete into a coma fell. Oh, there we are. Welcome to Never Song, everyone. No, <laughs> I do kind of love the bouncy little walk. It's very cute. Spooky area, though. Okay, let's, um... <laughs> a nice, springy, bouncy jump, too. Very cute. Uh... Huh. Looks like a door, but just a light turns on and it says S. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's wander a bit. Spooky painting. Spooky sounds. Uh, A. Oh, and A. There we go. Ooh, telephone. Check voicemail. That doesn't look like the kind of phone that would have a voicemail, but okay. Hey, it's me. And that's it. All right. Uh, M. The first one said S, so S M. Ah, a game by Thomas Brush and Serenity Forge. Yes, indeed. Congrats on shipping two games. That's twice as hard. That door was kind of open a little before, and it's hmm, not doing anything. Um, so, S, M, E, I, and L. And two of them don't light up. Developed by Eric Coburn. Uh, hello. G. Uh, smile. Dr. Smile. <laughs> a portrait. The word smile is scratched into the parchment. And we have some door letters that could probably, uh, 
I don't know what this is, but, um... Yeah. Okay. Um, we're... Here again. The clock is... Going backwards very fast. Uh... There's some... I don't know what this is. Uh... I'm going to try spelling gah. Hadn't noticed you back there. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to try spelling smile this time. See if that does anything. Uh... Yeah, there's a lot of them back there. Believe. Oh, okay. <laughs> you got it. The... Hmm. Uh... Same. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's spell smile with these doors if we can. And just try to ignore the, uh, folks outside with knives. Uh, I, L, E. Yeah. Let's not spell smile anymore. <laughs> Henceforth, no more smiling in here. Uh, same, yes. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, well. Mm hmm Hi. Oh, boy. Welcome to Neversong, everyone. It's going to be spooky. Hey, piano. Can I play? I can. Nice. Uh, okay, well. I'm gonna go wandering. Uh, a cozy fireplace. Oh, you can save. That's nice. Okie dokie. Lovely. Uh, booty bum pals 1952. Best friends. Uh, hmm. What's this? Your dusty mattress. Ren's parents are so nice. Sleeping here beats that old orphanage cot any day. How do they let us stay upstairs? That is nice of them. Well. This isn't so bad. Redwind Village. Kind of nice, actually. Umbrella. Ooh, if I had an umbrella, I bet I could... Catch that little wind gust there. Let's find an umbrella. Oh, this looks lovely. Even better looking than Pinstripe, I'd say. Thomas, you've outdone yourself. Oh, shoot. Oh, there's no double jumping or anything, so... Can any of these other buttons do anything? Mm, seems not. Okay, well... This way it is. Ah. Uh B B That's what it says on the wall. I wonder back in the sorry, back in the dream there was that scrolling on the wall it said believe and thee and then I didn't really see a third word pop up anywhere I guess there was smile but believe the smile I don't know uh, something's written on the door in crayon this hotel is now the property of the exclusive booty bomb gang ah it's now called booty bomb clubhouse and you could suck a big one punky <laughs> are you punky 1001 1002 Nope, you're John. Oh, crap. Not another interruption. 
I'm in the middle of jumping to a billion, Pete. A billion? I told myself I need to jump to a billion five hundred fifty. It will make me feel amazing. Why? Um, same reason growing my hair out to 1.73 meters will make me feel like a god. Okay. So, can I help you? 1015, 1016, 1017. Uh, where's Ren? Considering you're the reason everyone's parents have been missing all summer, I'd keep questions like that on the down low. Uh, how so? I mean, you fainted in terror as Ren was kidnapped. So the grown ups went to Black Fork Asylum to try and find her. Ah. Uh... They haven't been back since. Sorry. It's all right, buddy. Just be careful asking stupid questions. I, for one, am about to head out to look for my dad because of you. Well. After I finish counting, of course. Okay, bye. Keep jumping. Good luck. Uh, it's locked with some kind of gemstone padlock. Hmm. Okay. I'll go exploring elsewhere. Also locked with a gemstone padlock. All right. This one isn't, though. Hello. Redwind Barbershop. A message is scribbled on the mirror. C-G-C-G-B. Ah. C-G-C-G-B. Remember our song, Pete. Ren. How did this get here? Ooh. Redwind Sonata. A love song scribbled on the mirror. I'm glad that that got entered in a songbook, because, uh, and I can remember this one, but if they started throwing more songs at me, then that would turn into a problem. There's more songs. So, good. That would have turned into a problem. CG, CGB. You got it. I have a piano that needs to get played on. Hello. Pete, you're finally awake. My heart is full. I was about to adventure out to the Spidarian sewer to look for the grown-ups. I'll admit, my tummy is filled with little butterflies. Uh, where? Oh, must have given you a serious case of retrograde amnesia. The Spidarian sewer was our favorite spot last summer. Me, you, Ren, everyone. Right. Anyways, I think a grown-up might be down there. I heard it screaming. Huh. Where's Ren? Golly, you don't want to know what I think, my curious friend. If you must know, it is my belief that, well, um... That your girlfriend is likely dead. Oh, my heart skips a beat just thinking the dreadful thought. Corrupt hasn't been great lately, Pete. Without her medication, I'm not sure how long she'll last. Uh, help me? I'd help you find her. But I gotta go check out the Spiderian sewer first. Okay, bye. Really fun voice acting in this, actually. The jukebox is playing an old tune. The screen says it's called Mama, Make Me Happy. Okay. I really want to go back and play that tune, but I should poke around the rest of town first. Uh... I think we could go up here... into this building. Oh, launch from the inside. Not that one, then. There's also someone up here, though. Hello. Hey! Sup? We honestly didn't think you'd make it out of your coma, bro. What, Coma? It's been a while since you were awake. You really don't remember what happened? Nope. Well, I'm glad you're back. Too bad about Ren, though. Hmm? I mean, apparently she was, like, kidnapped right in front of your face, bro. The kids are saying you got so scared you went into a coma. Huh. Don't worry, nobody's judging. You were just too chicken to take care of her. The slug wasn't worth it to you, I get it. The slug? Ren's nickname? We all call her the slug. It started as the Red Wind Slugger, you know, because of her epic baseball bat. <laughs> You've forgotten a lot, haven't you, bro? Yeah. Not sure where she hit it, though. Okay, bye. I like your sports hat. Um, what is this? Ah! Well, uh, can't seem to do a whole lot with it right now. That's fine. Let's see if there's anything else to investigate in this quite lovely little village, honestly. Big fan. Locks from the inside. Nope. We're done. Let's go play the piano. Whee! We've got such a spring in our step. 
Boing. Oh, it's like a golden padlock up there and something shiny. Can't get up there, though. Hmm. Uh, oh, wait. This is the spot. Here we go. Ren's house. To the piano. And... Yes. Okay. C, G... C, G, B. Well, now. There's something. Ooh. The Redwind Slugger, Rin's vintage baseball bat with a cracking leather grip. This thing aches for a good whacking. Let's whack. That's some good whacking there, Pete. Let's go find some things to whack. Uh, save. Fantastic. All right. Ready to take on the world. And hit it with a bat. Uh, okay. Here's a thing that I'd love to break. This does nothing. Tragic. Okay. Um. Hmm. Uh, this bat's not gonna help me jump over there, unfortunately, so... Let's go find something we can hit with a bat. At the very least, we can show this to sports friend, Chad. Uh, can break pumpkins, that's fun. And other things. Uh, so yeah, we're all set for vandalism. What else can we do, though? Maybe we can break the crates that are blocking our way? Yes! Be gone! Chad might want to see the bat. Chad! Chadrick! Hello? Hey, what's up? Nothing, you? Oh, nothing. Just thinking about my parents. I miss them. Oh, really? Yeah, they've been missing a while. Have you ever heard of the Booty Bum Water Tower? I have a theory. And? Dude, you're like Ghost White. I don't think you can handle it. Ah, come on. No way, dude. This story isn't for kids. It's for big boys. I'm older. <laughs> I'm like a zillion years older. Plus, my dad said I was his big boy, and he could beat up your dad. <laughs> uh, now I miss my dad. Okay, bye. Good talk. Wait a minute. Hang on. Can I jump high enough to hit that little X thing? I doubt it. Yeah. Well, I can, but it doesn't matter. I did hit it, though. Because of how big and old and tall I am. Alright, let's go explore the rest of town. Ah, lovely. Quite lovely indeed. Red Windfield. Pete, it's me, Bird. You woke up. Hey, what's up? I'm locked in this cage. That's what's up. You sound upset. I just saw Ren. Really? Yeah. A man carried her down into the Spiderian sewer. Huh. Without her medication, I don't see her lasting much longer. Let's go. Okay. Quick, use that bat to get me out of this cage. Okay. Um. Didn't realize we had Navi fairies in this. That's cool. I'm getting a little claustrophobic in here, man. Would you mind? All right, jeez. Nice attitude, really. The grown-ups are missing, and your best friend is kidnapped, and you're acting like a spoiled rich kid. <laughs> Okay. Okay. There, join me. Bring your sass along, too. We might need it. Uh, save game. Okay. All right. To the Spidarian sewers or whatever. A heart fizzle. If you collect a hundred of these, you'll get another heart. Oh, yay. I've got a long way to go. Hi, up there. What is that you're dangling from? I can't... Tell. Parkour. Up here, Pete. <laughs> I see you. It is I, the mighty parkour ninja. Come voice at your service. You seen Ren? Yeah, I just saw some guy take her down into the Spiderian sewer. He was just crawling around, dragging her in a cage. Not sure if that's a problem. What? Um, I tried to help, honest. But, well, 
I already told John I'd help him find his dad, so yeah, I'm busy. Dude! <laughs> ah, just kidding. Um, yeah, Ren taught me how to get on these egg things. Uh, she just never taught me how to get down. Still trying to work that out. Really? Yep. Ren was a parkour legend, dude. She made these sexy magnetic gloves. Really helps me grip these eggs. I call them Gomboisa grips. Cool. I think she might have another pair somewhere in her house. Ooh. Anyways, dude, once I figure out how to get down, John and I are heading to the cemetery. Meet us there if you want to help find his dad. Got it. All right, I want those gloves now. Uh, yeah. What are you? Hey, spider. Spider. Spider thing. Ow. Hey. Don't you dare. I smack you. Give me that heart. All right, then. Ooh, what's this? A coma card. Huh. These things are all the rage in Redwind. There's a ton of them hiding all over the place. Be sure to collect and equip to change your outfit. Ooh. Outfit changes. Give. Uh. Cool. Equip to wear a headband. Gumboisa is a kid that thinks he's cool because he, parkour. <laughs> he's nice enough, so who cares? No, we're wearing a headband and we look great. This is really cute. I love this. Uh, hi. Hey, puke face. Get over here and help me. I'm stuck. How did this happen? Isn't it obvious, puke? No. I have hypoinflammatory disorder. I inflate randomly. What can I do to help? Give me my sewing needle, puke fart. My mom gave it to me for emergency poppage for just such occasions. Where? Those little turds, the spiders, snatched it right out of my pocket and ran up a tree. I'm on it. Um. Which tree, though? You know what? I'll find it. Don't worry about it. Spider. Come here. I hit you with a bat. Smack him. With a bat. Get out of here. Smack. All right. We're getting shinies. We're getting hearts. We're getting everything. Ah, really want to be able to climb these. Gotta find those gloves later. Spider. You come here. You come here right now. Smack. Darn it. Smack. Yes. Ow. Ah. Hey, Navi, you want to help out? Huh? Hmm. Pete, check it out in the tree. Is that Simeon's sewing needle? Grab it, bird. Perfect. All right, then. Uh, can't climb that. Ren's favorite spot. Yeah. It's a pretty good spot. Quite nice. All right. Let's go pop a kid. Feel like we might be in sort of a coma dream still. World seems a bit weird. But maybe that's just how it is here. Simeon, good luck. You're in luck. Nice attitude. Here. Oh, pop me! It hurts so bad, but you have to pop me. All right. Three, two, one. Go, go, go! Stab. <laughs> you all right? Let's check on him. Well, all right. Uh, spiders, come here. Ah, it's a big one. Yeah, they're strong and big. Give me the heart. Get out of here. Oof. Okay. Uh, a little intimidating down here. Eh. Hmm. Okay. I guess that kid got kind of dragged off this way. Maybe I should go this way first. Simeon! 
Hello? Whoa. This stuff's weird. Yeah. Away. Shoo. Smack. Say me in. Preston's lab. Hello. Pete, welcome to my state-of-the-art research facility. Hi. This, my friend, is where I'll crack the case to the missing adults and our poor friend Red. There's no question science can't answer. Sure. Although I have to admit, all I have are questions. Let's examine the facts. Fact. There's a giant centipede downstairs, and she only seems to respond to smell. Fact. There's some weird man sneaking around Redwind and beyond. I even snapped a photo of him on the water tower in the marsh. Okay. Yes, yes. All of these facts are definitely strange. Last. My mind can only fathom the rich rewards of writing my thesis to such bewildering questions. Focus. I should get back to work. Yes. Goodbye, nothing a day's reading and research can handle. Well, you keep at it. Uh... Dr. Smile and a birdcage. Hmm. Interesting. Uh... Preston's drawn a diagram in chalk on the roots. Let's read it. Scent a spider. Length? Three miles. Yeah. Age? One week. Only? Properties. Deaf, blind, and sleepy. It is possible she was heavily sedated. Huh. Notes. Elevated heart rate occurs with certain smells, specifically sludge, spider eggs, and sand. Hmm. Well, okay. Uh, concerning, but we'll be careful. Okay. Uh, good. Yeah. This day just keeps getting weirder and weirder. Yeah. Um, well, let's keep going. Shoot. All right. Uh, hmm. Headed downward. Who's lighting candles down here? Oh, fireplace. I appreciate that. Uh... Hmm. Hey! No! Shoot. Hi. Pete. What is that thing? It was that thing again. That thing had taken rest. Don't be mad. I'm just a child. But his wrinkling face only smiled. I'm starving. And I need to eat. So I snatched your pal. The perfect treat. The snack like that is said to make your wrinkling skin look young again. And he's gone. Boy, we got our work cut out for us, Pete. Oh, hey, it's you, guy. Yeah. I think she's hungry. Yeah. I, woof. Boy, that's a lot to take in. Uh. Hey. Oh. You're a helpful bouncing surface. All right. Eh. Here we go. Agreed. What is it? I have a theory. What? Um, never mind. It's a little crazy. Let's just keep moving. Come on. You're gonna think I'm insane, but I think that might be a grown-up. Yikes. Let's move on. Ah, spiders! Get out of here. Punks! Punks! Meh! Ow! Hey, get smacked. 
Bat combat is occasionally fiddly. Uh, okay. Hmm. Don't know if I can get myself up there. I don't think I can. Hmm. Alas. Alright, well, hang out down here. Hmm. What do? Pardon me. Don't mind me at all, please. Boy. What are we to do? Huh. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. We can use this to get Simeon out, hopefully. Maybe. Or, the more I think about it, if that thing supposedly reacts to smell, if we can... I suppose it is a bit villainous. But we could dunk Simeon here in the goo and roll him back over this way. That could be something. You know, in most games I wouldn't do that, but in this one it seems like the solution to the puzzle, doesn't it? Alright, uh... Hang on. Let's try rolling you through first here. Sorry, dude. Story doesn't cut it. That's it. I've got to say it. I hope she's dead. Let's go. We're going back the other way now. I don't know if sand is going to do it, but let's see. Anything? No. Hey. Hmm. Nothing. Okay. Sand doesn't do it. Fair enough. Now I wonder... So... Sand... What if, after that... This? Ah, washes the sand off. Neat. Okay. This is a devious little puzzle. Alright, so sand. Then... Whoa! Okay. <laughs> no, no. Not what I meant. Whee! Alright. Uh... This day just keeps getting... Yeah. Uh, can I... I don't know if it'll work, but... Yeah! Nah. I was wondering if I could get up there somehow, but... Well, you know... Here's a thing to try real fast. It's maybe nothing, but... Seems worth attempting. Hmm, nah. <laughs> I was wondering if I could bounce myself up there, but it seems like no. Um. Hmm. Was that face portrait back there before? I feel like no. Hmm. Okay. What am I achieving here? Because it sure feels like nothing. Sure did. Now I smell like red. Such a pig fart. Just like you. Sorry, let's go. Now here's something. This is something we can work with. Just gotta make sure. Not to... Ah, this is not gonna work. Hmm. I need to figure out how to get up there. Shoot. Could I... 
like go through here to do it? I don't think so. No. Hmm. Think, think, think. Hmm. What was that sound? The background changes now and then. It's a little spooky. Alright, let's try this again. Yes! Almost! Come on. We can do this. We can totally do this. We can totally do this. Ah! Come on. Can totally do it. Okay. Yes! We are up! Get out of here! Thanks for the heart. Alright, and then... Uh... Ah, shoot. Well... Alright, there we go. This is gonna work. And this game is managing to be every bit as kind of quietly unnerving uh, as Pinstripe. And it's a pretty good balanced vibe. Like, it's definitely got a lot of spookiness to it, but it's not just complete, total, scary, spooky always. There's, like, some pleasantness to it, but that only makes the unsettlingness stronger, right? Uh, okay. This will work. This will work. All right, here it goes. No, nothing. Seriously? Man. Here I thought I'd figured it out. Hmm. Let me explore the space a little longer here. Because I can't quite get up there. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Are there other substances we could potentially roll this one through? It's the only other... Huh. This could be something. Maybe. I don't know. Let's experiment. Anything? Well, he could give me a boost up. That's something. Yeah. Oh, hi. Pete. Hey, Pete. It's me, Gone Toddler. Hello? I'm playing a game of hide and seek with my big bro, Gone Boyson. Okay. Yes. Where's the F for F? Swinging in the field. What, darn. He tricked me. I didn't think he was actually playing hide and seek. Wish I could beat his butt. I am sick of him tricking me. I can never reach him, though, on those eggs. Maybe if I had that bat, though. Did you know that you can swing upwards with your bat and go a little bit higher than normal? No. Yeah, swing that bat when you jump, and you can go a bit higher like a cool kid. Thanks. Great tip. Thank you. Um... This. Hmm. Wait a minute. I can... Uh, I can go in here. Hmm. Hang on. Thinking. Hang on. Oh, I want to get in there. Don't love that. Um. Let's lower this. Let's... All right, y'all. Yeah. Oh, this is a lot of spiders. Swing for your life. Woo. You come back here. Come here. Get out of here with that nonsense. Still feel like... Eh. Eh, whatever. 
Hmm. Nest. G <gasps> She's down there. Okay. Uh. That's right, you run. <laughs> hmm. Can't do anything with this. Whoa! Okay. Uh, let's try that again. Hang on. This time, I'll try running off to the right. As soon as it springs me up there. And... Boom! Yeah, we're in. Get out of here, spider. Dog on it. There we go. Boom! You done! And then, uh... This... Hmm. Can't break that one. Can I push it? No. Alright. Need something fancy for that one. Yeah, that might be an adult. Uh... That centipede thingy! Is it wearing an apron? It is. Gee. And yes, progress. Figuring this nonsense out. Woo! And then the down. Yeah. Here we go. Um, whack. Nice. And... Hmm. We need to get our friend here. And then... Yeah, then we'll... Yeah, okay. Yes, yes, yes. This is going to work. Boom. All right. And I guess I should say friend in extremely heavy air quotes at this point. Given both their behavior and our plans. Mmm. No. Do this. And then I want in here. I want in here. So bad. So bad. So bad. Yes. Okay. Boom. Yes. That's what we need. Perfect. Pardon me. Here we go. Okay. Roll, my friend. Again, air quotes. Let's try to not let you get dipped in this water. This music's kind of pleasant, considering. Very calming. Okie dokie. Uh, yep. There we go. And. Spider eggs. Yay! Smells like red. Your insults suck. Your insults suck. That's very mature. That's very mature. Whatever, dude. Whatever, dude. I'm an idiot. Yeah, yeah you are an idiot. Crap. <laughs> This game has a lot of charm for being spooky. Well, my insults may suck, and I may be an idiot, but, um, well, have fun. A treat! Uh oh. I'm gonna stand back.
Yeah. Yeah. Ms. Richardson, no. Ah. Ah. Yeah. Ow. Oh boy. Okay. Smacks. So many smacks. Bunch of smacks. Whew. Okay. Yikes. Okay, don't try to hit her. Until she does this. Great. Okay. Smacks. So many smacks. Whew. Okay. Uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Ah! Oh no. Oh no. Oh jeez. Oh no. Dislike. Sammy, I don't like your mom. Uncool. Uncool. Oh, I haven't saved in a while. It just kind of occurred to me. Need that heart. Need the heart. Real bad. Thank you! Smack, 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 smack! Smack forever! Ah, uh, okay. Boy, just need two more like that, and we are good. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Okay, smack, 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 smack. Ah, thank goodness for this trusty bat. We good? Oh boy. All right. No, no more of those. Dislike. There we go. Okay. Here we go. This is it. Smacks! Smack, 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 smack! Whew. Yay! Ooh. Is it a song? Uh. You learn a new song. The Spiderian Overture screamed from the lengthy esophagus of Mrs. Richardson. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna go. Dude, I'm so confused. Yeah. Now that I'm thinking about it, I heard Gumboys are talking about this a week ago. Looks like the grown-ups are turning into monsters. That can't be. Anyways, Gumboys have mentioned finding three sleeping monsters. I hate to say it, but I think we need to wake them up to find Ren. Got it. They apparently know how to sing. Or scream. <laughs> exactly. Ugh, I'm glad that's over with. Kind of freaked me out. Yeah. One down, two to go. Quick, let's go play that song we learned on Ren's piano. Okay. Let's go do that before we wrap up. This is really cool. Thomas Brush, you have made some neat and unique things. And that is not something many can say. Yeah. Is that Simeon? Okay. Um. Yikes. Is that Simeon? Yeah, probably. Uh, he can hang out in there for a while. It'll be good for him. Uh. Anything new to say now that I've solved a problem? Pete! What was all that racket? Boss fight. Wait. You didn't slaughter my specimen, did you? I was studying her! Yep. Drat. Looks like I'm off to my next research location. I'll see you at the water tower, Pete. I have a hypothesis, and I have to test it. Okay. Good luck. I'm gonna go play piano. I learned a new song from the boss fight. Uh, is this the exit? No. No, it's not. Exit's back. Yeah, here we go. There we go. All right. Here and alive. Ah, spider. Dog on it. No. Thanks for the health. Who 
Hey. I heard about Simeon's mom. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not so sure I want you helping me find my dad. Yeah, okay, bye. That's, you know, that's fair. Parkour. Parkour. Where you been, dude? Being a hero. Nice. How about you be a hero and join me and John in Neverwood Cemetery? We could use your ripe and shiny biceps. You got it. My biceps are at your back end call. Just as soon as I finish playing the piano. This game brings about some interesting sentences. Hello. Uh. Piano, 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 piano. Okay. Uh. Right. Is this? No, it's not the house. We need to go further this way to get to the house. Do, 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 do. A little further. One more screen over. Here we go. Yes. Okay. Now then. Let's see. Uh. Uh, no. Songbook. No. B, C, D, A, E. Okay. B, C, D, A, E. Oh. Neat. What do we got up here? Ooh, another chest. Gumboy's a grip. A shiny, firm set of magnetic gauntlets. Jump into magnetic eggs to swing. Oh, let's try that before we sign off. I want to see how it looks. Let's save. Fantastic. This game is neat. Uh, look at that. We're swinging. Oh, that's cool. That is quite cool, and I bet I could use that to get up higher over here. Do, 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 do. Just gotta go around. Hang on. A little bit of a hike. Here we go. Okie dokie. And... Here we go. And we swing. And then we jump. Heck yeah. Locked with a golden padlock. Alas. Oh. Ooh. Another card. John! Equipped to have long hair. John has obsessive tendencies. Ah, uh, I can only have one at a time. <laughs> oh, I kind of like, uh... I kind of like the headband. Yeah. That's great. Y'all, I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, if you want to play more of it yourself and see what happens, uh... The game is available on both Steam and I believe also on PlayStation 4. Uh, so go pick this up. Give Thomas Brush some money and have yourself a good old spooky time. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks again, Thomas, for sending us a code. Sorry it took us so long to get to it. But uh, yeah, I will see you folks next time for something else. Do take care and goodbye.